Good afternoon, Colin here with Tech Out. Today we're going to be going over iPad OS 15, and I'm going to be showing you guys the things that are specific to iPad OS 15. I'm not going to really go over the changes that I went over in the iPhone video that are the same on the iPad. Um, so things like the Do Not Disturb and Focus and that kind of stuff, they they work the exact same way. Um, so I will just refer you back to the iPhone video. Um, so first things first is we have widgets on the home screen now. We still have our widgets over here. Um, that you can have a you know separate widget pane on the left when you swipe over, um, but we do have widgets on the home screen now that can be um, placed anywhere. Um, so you can move these around um, and stuff like that, and place them wherever you want in between the app icons and that kind of stuff. Um, so that's really cool. That was one of the things people were hoping for from iOS 14. Um, we do have the. Um, app library here now so you can put that in the dock you can choose whether it is in the dock in the um, settings here if you go to um, home screen and dock and then um, dock right here app show app library and dock um, you can turn that on and off um, so you can get that there or you can swipe over to your last page just like you do on the iPhone and get it over there as well um, if we go into an app like Safari here um, we will we have a tab open here, so if you hit these three dots up here, you get your multitasking window. Um, so we can put that app over on the left there, and then we can open another, oops, not supported with the split view for that. Um, let's see, we'll do the Apple Store app, I know that one works. So that goes over there, you get back to your home screen, pick an app, and you can do split view just like this. Um, and then you can rearrange the sizing right there. If you want to switch apps, you just go down from the top on that one and you can go to another app and switch spots and then to open it back up just close that one and pull that one back up and you're back in full screen on that app um, this is the new safari by the way so you have your sidebar right here with all your tabs and stuff like that you can hit that right there to manage your tabs um, so like start page right there um, if you want to get rid of it hit that and you can close it up here on the top corner i only have one tab open right now um, so if i close it it's just going to go back to the start page um, but that is what that looks like. That's Safari on the iPad. It kind of looks like what it's going to look like on Mac OS, um, which we'll take a look at a little bit later. That's still installing. Um, in terms of everything else, it's pretty much the same. Um, like I said, a lot of the carryover features from the iPhone, uh, such as the focus and stuff like that. Um, you have the little focus indicator on the top there showing you it is in focus mode, and it shows up on the home screen and the lock screen, um, rather just the same way it does on the iPhone. Um, when you unlock it right there in focus mode, um, all the notification stuff is the same. Like I said, all of it carries over pretty much from the iPhone, um, so not too much different there. Um, you have all your iCloud stuff and stuff like that, but that's what multitasking and um, all that kind of stuff looks like on the iPad with iPadOS 15. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and as always, have a great day.